Hi, everybody. Uh, just a quick update. Um, sorry, I haven't been able to put out the daily affirmations for the last couple of days. I'm hoping to get one done next for y'all. Um, and I'll try to do Saturday and Sunday to make up for missing Wednesday and Thursday. Um, yeah, what can I say? Life happens, right? <laughs> when you least expect it to. Um Dealing with just some personal stuff at home. And then the brakes went out of my car on the way home from work Wednesday night. How I got home, I don't know. I managed to get myself home over five miles with no brakes at all working on my car. I All I can say is the universe had my back. My angels and ancestors were definitely working overtime in protection and got me here in one piece. I can't explain it. When my son, I got home and my son went out to go check for himself to see if he could figure out maybe what was wrong, if it was an easy fix. And he got in the car and went to like, just back it up, pull it back in. And he came back in the house, white as a sheet. He was like, oh my God, mom, I can't believe you drove home with that. No brakes. Now, this is a little used car I picked up a few months ago. As most of y'all know, um, there was an accident and my car got totaled. And I, it wasn't worth very much, so I didn't get very much. Um, so I just picked up what I could afford. And it looks like a hunk of junk. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest. It looks like. But it runs great. I mean, I'm, I'm really been surprised. It's like a 22 year old car, 23 year old car. And it runs fantastic. You know, um, I mean, I had to replace a few parts like the battery and the water pump and the radiator um, when I first got it, because it had been sitting up for like over a year, just sitting in someone's yard. And it's, uh, it's mostly just rust colored because it's covered in rust. <laughs> I'm almost scared to try to take the rust off because I don't know if there's any metal left underneath. If I take all the rust off, I may not have a car left. So one of those kind of deals, you know, but Hey, yeah, it runs, it gets good gas mileage. It gets me to work and back to the grocery store and back. So I can't complain. Um, but I was not expecting to have the brakes just poof, go out. I mean, literally Wednesday morning, I went to work, not an issue, no problems. Got to work, parked, spent all day at work. I was there for 10 hours. Car never moved. Got in the car, got ready to leave work. And as I was pulling out of the parking tower where I park at, um, the brakes were kind of mushy. And I thought, oh, what, what's this? And by the time I got out to the street, they were like really, really mushy. So I kind of changed my normal route home and I started taking back roads because I didn't want to be on the main road if they went out completely, which they did. Um, and it was raining, which didn't help. So the roads were wet and slick. Everybody's driving like idiots. You know, it's five o'clock. Everybody wants to hurry up and get home. And so I'm taking my time. I'm tootling around. I'm taking all the back roads that I can think of to get from work to the house. Now, fortunately, I only live about five miles from where I work. So it wasn't a great distance. But if I took my normal route, it would bring me through a lot of heavy traffic. So I did a lot of neighborhood skipping, you know, just going through the little neighborhoods. I literally was having to put it into neutral and use the emergency brake to come to a stop. And I managed to get home. I, I don't know how. Like I said, the, my angels and ancestors were definitely protecting me. And so now it's at the mechanics. They're checking it out. Fingers crossed it doesn't cost me the rest of my life to fix it. Because um, <laughs> the car is not worth that much. But I have to have brakes. I mean, right? You, you got to be able to stop as well as go. So waiting for the waiting for the price sticker shock to hit me when the mechanic calls me back and says, oh, 
okay, this is the problem and this is what it's going to cost you. I'm not looking forward to that phone call. So, but that will be sometime today and hopefully they can get it fixed today. I'll get my car back today because my son has to work tonight, tomorrow night, Sunday night. He, he, uh, he, he, uh, he works at a club. He does sound for live bands that play. Um, he's a, a sound engineer. And so, um, you know, he's got to be able to get to and from to get to work. And, um, I mean, you can only ask people to give you a ride so many times and then it gets old, you know, so working on getting it fixed, hoping against hope it comes back today and the price tag doesn't kill me. And, um, yeah, just, I've been so focused on that and a few other things that the affirmations completely slipped my brain. And then this morning it, I was looking in my purse for something and I saw the little box of my cards and I went, damn, I forgot. I haven't done those since I think Tuesday was the last day I did one. Um, so big apologies because I've been trying really hard to do those every day. I usually do it on my lunch break when I go out to my car and, you know, take my, my 45 minute break and, um, and just kind of hang and I'll, you know, I'll eat my lunch. I'll do my little video because it's, it's a short, so I keep it under a minute, or I try to. Um, and then I post it uh, while, you know, while I'm at work, when I go back from lunch, you know, and then I, I upload it onto YouTube and TikTok and uh, uh, and let her, let her rip, as they say. And uh, so far, I've gotten a lot of really positive feedback on it, and I, that makes me happy. I've got another deck of cards that just came in that as soon as I finish with Louise Hayes deck, um, I'm going to start with those and because I want to continue the daily affirmations. Um, I know I get a lot out of it. And from the feedback I'm getting, y'all are getting a lot out of it. So that's important to me. And um, I mean, sometimes all it takes is a smile to make someone's day. It can change the whole trajectory of their day, of their week, of their month, of their life. If you just show a little bit of kindness. And that starts with yourself. If you're not kind to yourself, if you don't give to yourself, there's nothing left for others. So always keep that in mind. It doesn't cost you anything to smile at somebody and say, hey, you're doing a great job, you know, or just walk by them and go, Hey, and keep going. You don't have to stop. You don't need to do a conversation. You're just saying hi, smiling, and keep on going. So we'll take it from there. And as soon as I know more, I will come back on and let y'all know more. In the meantime, I'm going to try to do uh, today's affirmation and get that knocked out. And um, yeah, we'll just go from there. Um, I kind of don't really have anything scheduled tonight or tomorrow because I had other things I needed to get done. Uh, but Sunday, I will have um, Angela Cartomancy Mesquite and Deb H. from Deb H. Purple Elephant. They will be my guests Sunday afternoon on my channel. We'll be doing a live stream. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, they both are two very, very special ladies to me. I really enjoy watching them. I, I love the fact that I can call them my friend and um, and then I can just chat with them. It's really great. So um, y'all have a lovely Friday. Oh, oh, oh. And today is Friday the 13th. My good luck day, believe it or not. I always have something phenomenally good happen to me on Friday the 13th. So I am putting that back out there into the universe. It's Friday the 13th. Only great things are going to happen today. And I'm going to be blessed from it. I really believe that it's all in how you look at the day as to whether if it's good luck or bad luck. Or no luck at all. You know, what can I say? So, y'all have a wonderful Friday the 13th. If you go out and party tonight, do so safely. Don't overindulge. You'll just get sick and spend too much money, and then tomorrow you'll be ticked off at yourself, so it's not worth it. Um, 
but just have a good have a good weekend. Enjoy. The weather's getting cooler. Uh, in some places, it's getting colder. Um, and just you know, take a step back and just be thankful for what you have. Just thank spirit. You know, you, you provide everything for me, everything I need. And when it comes to this car, whatever it is I'm going to need, I am fully believing you're going to provide for me. Whether it be in somebody making a donation for the cause <laughs> to pay for my brakes, or whether it's just going to be a really easy fix and an inexpensive one. Fingers crossed, an inexpensive one. So take care, and I will talk to you all later. Bye for now.